But the next question is from also a regular, which is Chive2633. They're considering installing Fedora, but they have uh, security concerns, mainly the less robust verified boot and sandboxing of apps, as well as missing exploit mitigations. I have some technical knowledge. I can find my way in basic stuff, but nothing too advanced. As of right now, I don't feel like I possess the knowledge nor the confidence to secure Linux distro the proper way. That's what's holding me back. Would you say these concerns are valid? Does using specifically Fedora without advanced Linux knowledge pose a risk to OS general security? So I feel like nothing I say here is gonna please everybody. I think that I can acknowledge that there are some limitations in the security of Linux, and I can also say that they are ultra unlikely to impact most people. Um, there are so many people that utilize Linux and they don't deal with all of the, I guess, reported insecurities that Linux suffers. They don't just wake up one day and are instantly hacked because they're using Linux, which I feel like is how these arguments are presented. They're presented as, if you use Linux, you're horribly insecure and you're a horrible human being and you might as well just you know, drink Kool-Aid all day, every day, because that's all you do when you're using Linux. And it's like, well, okay, back up. Um, clearly, you know, it's not that extreme. A lot of people use Linux and we see in the real world that it is just fine. <laughs> like I use Linux. Everyone I know mostly in this space uses Linux. Um, Fedora especially is very popular here. Um, and so anecdotally, everything is fine. And I think that what's really missing here is that these issues can exist, but people aren't really adding the severity of these issues and how likely they are to impact the end user, which is a totally different discussion. Um, I feel like you can find a nitpicky issue with anything, but if it's only going to impact a few users in very specific situations, then that kind of context needs to be applied to the criticism. So that is my take on a lot of these things. It's not that Linux shouldn't make improvements. It's not that there aren't holes that need to be patched. It's just that people aren't very good at keeping context on these very technical nitpicky issues that don't actually impact a ton of people. So that's what I have to say about that. With that said, if I was to set up a super high security operating system, um, I would probably opt for something like Cubes or I would opt for hardening Linux or I would opt for something like Mac OS. And of those options, the easiest one is Mac OS. And by default, if you just install Mac OS, set up a uh, file vault and set up your firewall, and maybe you can use something like Objective-C's tools, um, it's really hard to beat that security. It's really solid security. Um, but again, then you're kind of sacrificing a lot of the benefits that Linux can provide. So it comes down to you. I think that if you're someone who just wants a computer to work, um, you're fine on Linux. If you're trying to get top-notch security, then, it, I, then and you don't have the technical knowledge, then maybe Linux isn't the best option for you. But I would ask why you need this much security, because I feel like a lot of people read a lot of these takes on um, missing security features on Linux and whatnot, and the way they perceive it is, well, I might as well just not use it then, instead of realizing just how it's a limitation of Linux and how you shouldn't over rely on security tools in Linux and kind of keeping some more context on it. That's what I'd say about that. Um, and I know it's hard to like answer it in a way that doesn't piss at least a few people off, but I really feel like there's a lot of missing um, perspective on a lot of these security issues. And this happens with privacy as well. Um, a lot of times, you know, there's a single data point collected by a single app that might result in just one thing being collected by a few people. And then everyone goes, well, I can't use that anymore without keeping a little bit of context and perspective on it. So um, that's what I'd have to say. So I don't think it's going to make or break you with either option you go with. I think it's up to you and what you're trying to prioritize in your operating system. Um, and aside from that, as long as you're like safe about what you're doing on your computer, you should be able to have Fedora installed for the next you know, several years, keep up with security updates, and you sh shouldn't deal with malware. <laughs> Statistically speaking, um, that shouldn't be happening. Happening. So, um, yeah, that's that's what I would say. Hey there, thanks for watching this TechLore clip. I just wanted to say, if you enjoyed this content, we have many other clips on this channel that you can get subscribed to. Otherwise, you can check out our full channel at TechLore where we talk about digital rights, privacy, security, open source, Linux, and many other exciting topics to keep you safer online. We'll see you over there, and we hope you enjoyed this clip.